So why would you want to buy a bottomless portafilter? Well, the first reason is you want to be able to see that beautiful espresso coming out. And the second reason is you'd like to also be able to analyze your extractions. You want to see how your puck preparation was and you want to see how fresh your beans are. So what I did is I made a video on how to go from a normal portafilter to a bottomless one as such. But not everybody wants to make a bottomless portafilter. They might not have the tools to do it or the time. And so I set out to find the highest quality bottomless portafilter that I could. And that's what we're going to do today is unbox this. It's the Normcore bottomless portafilter. And stay tuned until the end because there's a second item that I'm going to unbox as well. Now, for those of you who don't know Normcore, it is a very nice brand who makes high quality aftermarket components. I have a tamper from Normcore and now I ordered this and a couple of other things and I've been very impressed so far. So let's go ahead and open this bottomless portafilter. So first of all, that is the box right there. What's very interesting is that you'll notice it actually makes bottomless portafilters not only for the DeLonghi, but also for the Breville 54 millimeter machines. It also makes 58 millimeter bottomless portafilters for the E61 brew group. So for ECM, Rockets, even the Flare 58, and that is excellent. So let's open it up. Come on, you little bugger. Ooh, nice. There it is right there. Oh, look at that. It even comes with a nice basket. Looks like a nice double basket. One more small detail to mention about the Normcore bottomless portafilter is that they did cut it here to be flush with the basket. So that makes it for a very nice looking extraction. So this is a really well feeling portafilter. Um, in as much as it's got a good weight to it. Let's see how much it weighs. 365 grams, if you can see that. The original portafilter that I cut the bottom off of weighs 233 grams, so more than 100 less. I believe this is stainless steel. And the handle is made out of aluminum. And this looks like a standard thread to me. So I'm guessing that if you would like to screw on a different handle, like a wooden one, you can probably do that. Something else to notice about this portafilter is this nice divot here. So that divot makes it really nice just to hold in your hand. I really appreciate that. That's similar to this portafilter here. This is a Sage portafilter from a Bambino Plus. And I just love that that divot makes it feel nice in your hands. I'm really very much a haptic person, so I appreciate that. And this one kind of mimics that, feels good in the hand, and it's got a nice sturdy handle. It also has the Normcore branding right there on the handle, so I think that looks nice. And of course, the most important thing is, well, how does it work? Is this going to fit into the DeLonghi? And I'm guessing that it will fit very well because Normcore does make nice aftermarket components. Let's just do a quick measuring here. How the tabs line up. Okay, they look just very slightly different, but that's also because they are just mirrored here. So I'm guessing that it's going to be a good fit and that people are going to be pretty satisfied using this Normcore bottomless portafilter. All right, the second thing that I wanted to open today, I also ordered from Normcore. This is a puck screen. And this one is made specifically for the DeLonghi Dedica as well at 51 millimeters. So I'll probably be making some videos in the future about this too. Okay, here we go. I've got a 15 gram dose in there and I'm gonna try out this puck screen. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you go. There's the test with the beautiful Norm Core portafilter. Here's a comparison of the Norm Core versus the original portafilter. Alright guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you and if so, please give me a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.